I built a multi-model Photoshop AI agent inside Anatan, where a user can use Nana Banana and Sidrim 4.0 at the same time so that they can edit their images. So this is the AI agent I'm talking about. So let me show the demo how it works. And to start everything, I only have to just go with execute workflow. And when I click that, this kind of uh, form will just came up. And in the place of image, I only have to give the image. In the place of prompt, I have to give the text like what the things I want to edit or what things I really needed from the image. And in the place of select image model, I can choose which image model I want to use, like Sidling 4.0 or like Nana Banana. So that's what I'm talking about. So in the place of image, I just go with this image. Here you can see this is the image of mine. I just took a very beautiful image while cycling, okay? And in the prompt, I just go with this prompt. And this is the prompt I said uh, where I need this kind of images, okay? So as you know that this kind of image is right now very trending right now on social media. So I want to do the same thing with two image model. And I want to see that which image model works very well. And in the place of select image model, I just go with first time with Nana Banana. And let me just go with edit. So here you can see our image generation has been started working with the image generation and it said it's done. And soon it will just kind of like pop up that it's done. And let me kind of like download the image and let me show that how the image generation really looks like. So you can see this is the image it looks like and it's super cool, right? Awesome, really cool just how I just given the image it worked in the exit process cycling hero or like cycle hero that's really cool even I didn't say that like to just write something and this is the exact uh, cycle of mine okay so this is the image generation of nano banana and right now we'll use Sidrim 4.0 and let me show that uh, how the Sidrim 4.0 really works like with the same image with the same prompt then I just go with execute workflow again. So I just kind of like go with choose file. Then I just go with again this image. And in the prompt, I just go with this exact prompt. And in the place of select image model, I just go with this time C Dream 4.0. Then I just go with edit. So you can see it's again started and it's kind of like working on with the C Dream 4.0 and soon we'll get the image. As you can see, as I said, so I just go with save and then I just open the image. Yeah, it's really cool. But it's the true thing is like, I didn't need this thing. I said that like very realistic way. So this is the image of Seedream 4.0 and here you can see this is the image of Nana Banana, right? This By the way guys, if you don't know me, I'm Rakin and I help people like you to master AI regardless of the background through my Hello AI community. So that you can start a new business based on AI or you can use AI in your existing business. And inside the Hello AI community in the classroom section, you'll get all the lessons with the assets and not only this, you'll also get the easy to follow guide video and if you want to share something or if you have any kind of question, you can use the community section where you can share your thoughts or just upload the question where me or like the community members will help you to solve the problem. And if you want to join in this amazing community, the link is in the description. So see you soon inside. To get the template of this workflow, only you have to just come to community in the classroom section and in the classroom you have to just go with like the lesson 47 and in the down section you will just get the resources which is the workflow template and you have to just click this thing and you have to just download that and then you have to upload that just by clicking three dots then just go with like import from file then you have to choose the file then just go with open and if you're not a community member no worries i'll show you everything how i made that so that you can get a proper understanding for that okay so here you can see that that's the thing at the first we have to set up a little bit then i'll just show you what i did how it works all of the stuff so the first only you have to set up the cloudinary if you never used cloudinary before you have to create an account so all you have to just go with like this thing orange thing click cloudinary so the cloud will open up and here you can see that we have to give the cloud name upload preset name and also the cloud api key so i have to just came in the cloud and after that i have to just go in the api keys and here you can see there's the cloud name of mine so i just kind of like click this thing and then just copy okay and then i just kind of like open my cloud and in the place of cloud name i only have to give the cloud name like this and in here i use this exact url okay and make sure the uh, method is post and the authentication is none and there in the place of parameter type i have to give the upload preset name so you can see in the value section i have to give the upload preset name so again i just came in the cloud section and then in the place of upload you can see that and here i only have to just go with add upload preset so in this place you have to just give a random name just anything it can be and make sure that the signing mode have to be unsigned then you have to just go with save and after that a new upload preset will be just uh, created and here you can see there are like bunch of upload presets of mine i just go kind of go with the first one i just only have to click this thing that is copy so then just came here and the place of value i have to just give the upload preset name like this and in the parameter section you can see that i have to give the api secret 
and in the place I have to give the API secret what I just do I just came here again in the API keys I just go in the API keys and here you can see this is the API secret only have to just kind of like go the visualize then they will send me a four digit code in my Gmail I have to give the four digit code and then they will give the API secret make sure that copy the API secret then just came here again in the place of value you have to give the API secret that's it and that's how we can set up the cloudinary the next thing we have to go with the nano banana and the seedring 4.0 so for the nano banana and seedring 4.0 for both this ai image generation model we are using kai api so only have to just kind of like click here kai api so you can see that's how the kai api looks like so make sure that you are using the paid version of kai api otherwise it will not work yeah you listen that right uh, kai api doesn't give any kind of like free credits so that's a problem okay so what you have to do at the first you have to just scan the billing section and there you can just go with like five dollars fifty dollars whatever you like i prefer you to go with the lowest amount five dollars and they will just kind of like give you one thousand credits and let me say with something for one image generation they will kind of like cut you four credits so uh, whatever image generation you model you use almost you can generate 250 images for only five dollars and i think that's very cheap okay so what you have to do is only you have to just kind of like came here in the api key and then you have to go with the api key just copy this thing and then you have to come here again in the place of nano banana you have to give the api key after the bearer just make sure that after the bearer just delete this thing then give the api key in here and that's done and again do the same thing with Seedream. the api key is same for kai api for Seedream 4.0 and also with the nano banana okay again just in the place of api key just delete the api key part and then just paste the api key that you copied from kai api and that's it again you have to give the same thing to these two things you can see here set also set up also you have to just kind of like click here then in the place of api key you can see you have to just kind of like delete the stuff then you have to just give the thing and again you have to do the exact same thing with this thing okay just again de delete then give the api key and that's all set up then just go with save it will be done okay so let me show that what is really happening in here at the first as i show you the input so this is the input it looks like and as you saw that i actually given this image and in the schema i'll show you the prompt this is the prompt i given turn this photo into a character figure and blah blah okay so the select image model i used in here sitting for bono for the last time and this is all the things i really needed so what i did kind of like this i uploaded the image to cloudinary because i really need that uh, i need a perfect format so that like i can use that inside nano banana and also i can use that in sitting 4.0 as a image reference okay i can directly give that thing as a binary file i have to upload that in a server then i'll just get a url then i will do the rest of the stuffs okay i just shown you how you can set up the cloud binary. so this is the cloud binary looks like this is the url of mine this is the post method there's the sand body at the last i used a binary file because you can just change that from data of like from an attend binary file okay and here i said like it will be file name and in the place of input data fill name i'm actually giving the file name that is containing the binary image so that's why it's kind of like uploading the image to cloudinary and what's happening is after doing everything it's kind of like giving this kind of data and the most important thing or like you can say the thing i really needed is is actually the url so it's kind of like i just go to the url i can see the image and it's right now uploaded in a server here you can see and it uploaded in a cloudinary server in my own cloud here you can see this is a cloud of mine so that's the image in here right so then what i did in here kind of like uh, i just uploaded then i used a switch node like by using a switch node i'm actually defining that which model i used in here like seedring 4.0 or like nano banana so for the last time i choose seedring 4.0 so as like the rules as you can see that if uh, the user choose nano banana then it have to just go with the nano banana branch and if the user choose Seedream 4.0, it will be go with the Seedream 4.0 branch. So yeah, for the last time, it used Seedream 4.0, so that's why it choose Seedream 4.0 branch. Okay, this all the stops in here. So as I choose Seedream 4.0, obviously it have to go with this exact path. Okay, so at the first, I used the Seedream 4.0, and this is actually how it looks like here you can see all the things in here the url will be like this and in the place of send headers i just go with like alteration then I, in the place of value i actually given 
my API key after the bearer. Okay, that's all I did. And after that, what's really happening is I actually given a uh, just code. Like I just say it like send body in the place of JSON. I just go with like using JSON, and this is the code I'm using. This is very simple. You can see in the model section I given here this code. And in the place of callback URL, this is the callback URL. And in the prompt, you can see that in the right side, you are exactly seeing the prompt, like how the prompt looks like. In the image URL, you can see there's the image URL. Even if I just go to the image, I just exactly came in here. Okay. And there's the image size. You can change the image. For example, like if you want to change this to a portrait or like something like this, you can change this. After uploading the image or just kind of like after taking the image, then starting the task, it will say you success. Okay and then also it will give you a task id and a task record id so all i need the task id okay and also i need the message like is it success or not the success doesn't mean that the image generation has been completed it means actually the image generation has been started so that i have to wait a little bit so what i'm doing in here kind of like i use the generation check like is it giving me a success or not if it says not success for example like maybe there's something issue a credit issue or something like this then it will show me in another form like the imagination has been failed something wrong with the student for no or like something wrong with the nano banana so that i can check this thing and if it says success obviously it have to wait a little bit because uh, uh it will just take some time okay so what i'm doing in here i'm actually waiting for 20 seconds of uh, yeah it's kind of like this so in here you can see that like it used two times it's mean it waited for 40 seconds only just generate only one image okay so yeah and as i said that after two seconds after 40 seconds it will say you okay just the image generation has been completed and also it will kind of like give you this result here you can see this is the generated image if i kind of like go here i can see the exact image and also you can see that it's uploaded in a another server okay so that's why i'm just getting the image so yeah there's all the stops in here you can see what it did it's a gate method and there's the url i'm using this is all the stops this is the task id i'm giving in here and yeah this is the alteration in here i'm actually giving my uh, api key kind of like this and all the stops and after that it will kind of like give you this kind of things nothing more in here and in the place of if again i said if the url or the result url exists then it will go in the true branch and if the result url it's mean the image generation is not completed so what's gonna happen like it will just again use this thing okay then again just wait for 20 seconds then again just go the rest of the path okay okay so in this case it just waited as 40 seconds as i said and then it actually given me the result url after taking the result url which will be going with a javascript simple code so what i'm doing in here i'm actually taking this exact image url so as you can see that inside the result json it's kind of like saying uh, results URL and also kind of like giving me parameters. So obviously I have to delete all the stuffs and I need the neat and clean image URL like this. So what I'm doing, I used a very simple code in here, then I'm actually getting this stuff. Okay, and as I showed you that I get the image right now by using download image, I'm actually getting the image in a binary file. In here you can see I'm used a gate method and in the URL section, I'm actually giving the image URL like this. And here you can see does the image really looks like right and then at the result part so what i did in here on the annotate and form submission i used in a written binary file so that at the end of the process it's kind of like coming with the binary image or you can say the generated image and it will start it to automatically download it in my device so that's what really happening in here as you can see that so yeah and we actually use the same thing inside nano banana only i added a little bit inside nano banana let me show that in the place only of the codes you can see in the place of model i used google nano banana instead of using uh seedring for no edit and in the place of output format i choose that as png but in the place of seedring for no let me show that i didn't use any kind of like output format or like something like this you can see only i used image size and the resolution so yeah that's kind of things we can do and that's how we can actually get the results and i hope like this video helped you and if you need this exact template, you can find this in the Hello AI community. It's very easy, just drag and drop. And if you have any question, just ask the question in the comment box. I'll do my best to help you. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to give a like and subscribe to the channel. Inshallah, you'll find more values, especially in the fields of AI, AI agents, automations. That's it, guys. Have a nice day. Peace.